all are one. What is up, Transformers Nation? Transformers eat stuff here. And in the process of me cooking my cord button, I think it just broke my wrist. Ow, that hurts. But anyways, as you can tell from the title of this video, Random Reviews Episode 11 shall be a Frozen mo Movie Review. Okay, may I just say... Actually, I'm just gonna jump right in. Uh, first off, let's just... Yeah, jump right in. The opening music for when it first starts... Is this Lion King? Like, it, it suits Lion King. It does not suit Frozen or its storyline. That's the one thing I just didn't understand is when it was opening up. I didn't quite understand it. But... I guess that's that. I don't know. Anyways, so when it's opening up, it's essentially so some. It's essentially a song about some guys working. Although in reality, that would never happen. No one's really happy to work, but well, it's Disney logic. Never question it. Learn that the hard way. Anyways, then from there it goes to Elsa and her sister Anna, pretty much playing when they do it inside the palace. I suppose you could say not palace, kingdom, castle, castle. That's why we castle. Yeah, and they're just playing with snow and stuff. And then next thing you know, Elsa gets hurt. Not Elsa, Elsa hurts Anna. And then they have to go, and they go on by. Also, I should let you know, there will be spoilers for the rest of this, so pause and leave. <laughs> this is the best I can say, because there will be spoilers. Anyways, they go and they leave. So essentially, it's a troll who helps um, Anna, but the one thing I never understood is why would you lock Elsa up? That was essentially the dad's plan. And you know what? The troll never said no, but he never said to do it either. Wouldn't it make more sense to send Elsa somewhere and just keep her there? I don't know. Maybe to me that just makes way more sense. But anyways, they decide to lock Elsa up and no one knows about her powers except for her parents. Which, in the process, her parents go. And this is the part where I shall blow your mind. We're not really me, more Disney, but still. They go on a boat, and in the process of them going on this boat, they, the boat gets shipwrecked or whatever, and they die. Or so we thought. This is what really happens. That same boat is found in um, Mermaid. Uh, is it Little Mermaid? I don't know what it's called. Don't really keep track of it, sorry. And what you see in the beginning of that movie, that's the exact same ship from Frozen. Also, the parents, were, when they were on the boat, they were on their way to go see Elsa's cousin's wedding, which would have been their niece, I suppose, who is Rapunzel. Okay, so all pieces are coming together. Also, the parents do survive. They wash up on an island, they have a kid, then they die. That kid is Tarzan. Everything has been explained to you. Yay. Can we move on? I do believe we shall. Anyways, and speaking of Rapunzel, when this happened in the first part, and when she was locked up, I'm like, what is this, just a remix to Rapunzel? It really gives a negative view on it, but after after watching it a bit, you get, after watching a few minutes after, you get a more positive mindset of it, but it really gives a negative um, outlook, I suppose you could say, on it at first, when all I hear is they have to lock her up, I'm like, wait, this is just like another Rapunzel, but thank God I was wrong. Anyways, that's that. Now time to move on to other stuff, um, I just want to talk about the songs real quick, there's only one song I have to skip, it's that troll song, Fixer Upper, that's, some people actually really like it, that's good for them, that's the only song I have to skip, the voices were actually really good, and surprisingly good, also, it, it says Frozen was the best movie since Lion King, I honestly have to agree, it's as good as Lion King, sorry, that's kind of my childhood, you can't go there, not really, but just the same way some people would disagree, say no, it was better than Lion King, but that's that. Anyways, um, the character building was really good. Um, the person I can relate to the most here would have to be Elsa, especially given I am a Transformers fan, and not just a Transformers fan, if you're a Marvel fan, a DC fan, a Frozen fan, any kind of fan, you probably relate to this a lot, given that there is bullying in school, and not just school, workplaces and stuff like that, because that's just even as you embrace your inner child, and people are definitely going to hate because, of course, they're jealous. If you don't know, that's why they hate on you. So when she's saying let it go, that is the best moment. That's like the moment we all have when we finally join a freedom. No matter whether it be Transformers, Frozen, DC, Marvel, you name it. 
that is pretty much the best song you should have in the background when you join it. But that's just, yeah, I just had to put that in there. Another thing I also really love is um, the humor. The humor is actually pretty good in the series. I was very surprised by the humor. Um, just pretty surprised, like Olaf being pretty much the pinnacle of that. And yeah, I was surprised about the humor. Speaking of Olaf, the reason why I love him so much is not only is he just so cute and adorable, but he represents the Anna's and Elsa's childhood. He essentially brings them back and connects them to that point. So that's one thing I love. And I don't want to say too much because although as much as I spoiled here, I don't want to spoil any more. So maybe you should just go watch the movie for yourself. So yeah, there you go. Another thing I really love is during some stuff, pretty much, Elsa goes, she runs away, and while she's running, she has an amazing Batman run. If you can, you have to like the movie just because of that. That was an amazing Batman run with ice. That just made it amazing. It was just, you have to like it because I, I just like it, I'm sorry. Love it, actually. And I'm slowly becoming obsessed over Frozen. That tends to happen. Anyways. In the process, while she is running, turns out she goes, she makes an ice palace while she is singing "Let It Go," and then she dwells there. But then her sister Anna goes after her. Anna goes, finds her, try to bring her back. Sister says no, accidentally freezes her heart. Anna goes, runs away with Kristoff. Kristoff and Sven and Olaf, they all go to see the trolls because they realize her hair is turning. Realize Anna's hair is turning white. Turns out she has a frozen heart. And that's that, pretty much. So, only true love can fix that. And I don't want to know what just happened. <laughs> Anyways, only true love can essentially fix that. So, that was pretty good. And the true love being the sister's love. Not romantic love. It was pretty good. I kind of like that because you're telling the generation that, pretty much, you're very young. There's no need to look for love right now. And there should really honestly never be a need to look for love when you're that young. Good job, Disney. Good job. And that siblings are something you should always have. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. Uh, Storyline and plot twists. This is the thing that was pretty, pretty good. Um, for those of you who don't know, sorry spoilers, I guess. Um, Hans turns out to be a complete jerk and... Ditches, I suppose you could say. Oh, no, I don't want to say anymore. I don't want to go into detail about it, but that's essentially what happens. So at least the storyline and plot twist, at least they're showing kids that you know what, no one is perfect. Okay, uh, that guy who you may think is perfect and have your crush on, you know what, he can be a total jerk. And the guy who you think sometimes is like you know a poor guy or whatever can be the one who can treat you ten times better. So I like. Disney, how they're doing all that, explaining stuff like that, uh, through a movie of course, it was pretty good also, um, at the end, coming down to the end, didn't Elsa hit her hands with the sword cause I know Anna did when he was about to kill her, I'm just saying, wouldn't you hear that? I know I would but wouldn't you? I don't know also when Summer comes back, I wonder what happened to the snowman and the ice castle probably just kinda went Anyways, it still hurts because you're in the movie until like the last part. You're still shipping Anna and um, Hans. And then when Hans just simply decides to be a douchebag, you're just like, ow, that hurts me because I was just shipping you guys. Like, really? But that's that. Now, here's some, before I get into the overall score, here's some stuff. First off, do you like me doing movie reviews? I might do some more for random reviews. Suggested. Frozen was just something I had to do for a random review. I believe this is episode 10. Anyways, yeah, so I guess that's that. Also, I have a link in the description to where you could go and watch Frozen on PuttLocker.com. Just stream it, literally go there, click watch, click HD, watch in HD. That's all you have to do. But there are ads there. If you don't like the ads, I'll leave a link down below in the description. It's something I did for you all. To Dropbox, you could just go and you can watch the first 15 minutes of Frozen absolutely free to prove to you that no ads, there's nothing in it for me, I'm just doing this because you guys are awesome. And after you're done, there's a download option, so you watch the first 15 minutes, you're like, okay, this is an HD quality, everything seems good, no ads, get boom. You can just download it, or you can add it to your Dropbox, because it's on Dropbox. That's 100% up to you guys, link to that inside the description. And, yeah, 
So let's just start with the overall. It gets an 8.3 out of 10. Now, usually it would just get a 10 out of 10 for a score, but I just switched the actual score because since it said this was the best since Lion King, everything's been pumped up and difficulty, I suppose you could say, has been harder because I expected a lot from this movie. May I just say it did not disappoint me. There's a very few stuff that just kind of I didn't understand. Like the nitpicks, for example, the opening music, those are just nitpicks. Why I lock up Elsa? So that's something that I really did not understand. But otherwise than that, the rest are just nitpicks. Like, how come she didn't heal her hands? We're about to kill her. Um, stuff like that. And the remix with Rapunzel stuff I kind of mentioned earlier. Stuff I just didn't quite understand. But that's about that. I don't believe there's anything else for me to say. And when pros such as Let It Go and Elsa being so relatable, that is like the biggest pro right there. And then you have the true love being um, sister slash, yeah, sister love and not romantic love. Stuff like that. Also, in the comments below, let me know if you enjoyed it. Cause, like I said, I'm leaving the links. So you could go watch it. There's nothing. There's nothing that should be stopping you. Let me know if you enjoyed it as much as I did. So that's pretty much all there is to say. Do not forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video if you haven't already. Like this video if you are a transformer of any faction. And most importantly, to all toys of fun. And also, one more thing. Can you guess my OTP? It's down there. Comments are down there, just go guess it, and I'll, I'll private message you, let you know if you're right, because I know other people would like to guess it too. I don't want to let that be in the comments, and there's no more left to guess in the game, I suppose you could say. But yeah, that's all there is to say. Do not forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video if you haven't already, like this video if you are a transformer of any faction, and most importantly, to all toys are fun. Once again, I want to thank you for watching, and to all toys, are fun.